Thanks all of you for being here. Let me just say, we're four days away from a consequential election. You may ask yourselves, well, how does this relate to me? Let me just tell you, I've represented our state for 26 years in the United States Senate. The first election that I won, I won because of Native Americans supporting me overwhelmingly against the incumbent. So you had confidence in me, you had faith in me, and I hope I have delivered on that confidence in my 26 years. I remember when the Republicans, when they were in control of the House and the Senate, they tried to shut off funding for this school. And they didn't do it just one year, they did it year after year after year. They funded all the other tribal schools in the country, but they defunded United Tribes Technical College. I fought those battles. Senator Dorgan and I fought them together, and Congressman Pomeroy joined us, and we were able to keep funding flowing to this institution. It's one of the proudest victories I had in the United States Senate. So when you think about whether these elections matter, believe me, they do. Same is true of the settlement that I authored for two of our tribes to get money in compensation for what happened at Garrison. The flooding that occurred, the land that was lost, both at Standing Rock and at three affiliated tribes. And I wrote the legislation and got it passed that provided $280 million of funding to those two reservations in compensation. That's a staggering amount of money, $280 million. And that money has made a profound difference on those reservations. Uh, that too is a proud accomplishment. And you know what? I had to fight Republicans every step of the way. I want you to know, this is the truth of the matter. They didn't want that funding coming here. They didn't want the funding for this school to continue. And so I just say to you, when you think about how you're going to cast your vote on election day, remember who your friends have been, your allies have been, who's going to be sticking with you. And I can tell you, it's going to be people in the Democratic Party that are going to be standing shoulder to shoulder with you to get some kind of fair treatment. Now, I am so proud of the ticket that our party is offering the people of North Dakota this year. Brad Crabtree, our candidate for Public Service Commission. Brad has really been a leader at what we call enhanced oil recovery, to put CO2 down wells to get more oil out. That's good for the environment because it reduces CO2 in the atmosphere, and it's good for the economy because it's more oil coming out of the ground. That means more jobs, more economic security, more national security because we reduce our dependence on foreign oil. And the leader in the country has been our own Brad Crabtree. Brad. I'm going to say just a little bit about myself because I think many of you don't know me. Uh, I grew up here in Bismarck. Uh, my wife, daughter, and I, we ranch uh, west of Ellendale in Dickey County. We raise sheep, we graze our neighbor's cattle, and we sell grass-fed natural lamb and beef to individuals and to restaurants around North Dakota. But I've dedicated my entire professional life to building a sound energy economy where we can, Senator Conrad said, create jobs, have energy security, but also protect the earth that we all live in. And uh, every day, when I, every day of, in my work, I think about my daughter who's 13 years old. She had her birthday on Monday. I missed her birthday because of this campaign. But I think about what kind of world is she going to live in when she's my age and a mother, when she becomes a grandmother. And so I've committed myself in all of my work to promoting renewable energy, wind and biomass, uh, making sure that the energy we do produce, we use it more soundly, encouraging energy efficiency. And of course, North Dakota is blessed with rich coal and oil resources, fossil fuels, and we're going to be using fossil fuels for generations to come, so it's very important that we use the best technologies and the best practices and do it responsibly so that generations from now, when they look back at what we did, uh, they're proud of what we did. And throughout this campaign, I've made very specific recommendations 
on how we can build an energy system that accomplishes all those things that we care about. And every step of the way, my opponent has attacked me as being a radical, as being an extremist. Well, I don't need to tell all of you as Native Americans, that's not, radi that's not radicalism, that's not extremism. Caring for the earth we live on while providing for our needs today, that's, that's your culture. And when my opponent attacks me as being an extremist, he's attacking the values that your ancestors lived by. And so I just want to emphasize how important in a different way this particular election is for the Public Service Commission because you don't hear a lot about the Public Service Commission, but as our state has all these opportunities to, with investment and jobs in, in our state's energy economy, that's a very positive thing. But with that comes an obligation an obligation to do right by, by future generations, as well as the people on the land today. And the Public Service Commission has an especially important role in making sure that happens, and that's why it really matters who serves on this Public Service Commission. So you all know Senator Conrad, you know Heidi, you know Pam, and, and, and you know the work that they've done over the years, and, and their races are terribly important. We, we need to send them to Washington. But when you go to the ballot box and when you talk to your friends and your neighbors, when you go to the ballot box, you go, way, you go a long ways down the ballot before you get to the Public Service Commission. But that office really matters too. And so I ask for your support. I ask that you spread the word and encourage others to support me and the rest of this ticket so that we can win, go to victory on Tuesday. Thank you.